My name is Mark Hare. I'm a mission co-worker with the Presbyterian Church USA and I've been working with the Farmers Movement of Babai or Peasants Movement of Babai MPP since 2004. From the very start in 2004 we started working with Yard Gardens and part of the one of the components of Yard Garden program has always been the vegetable tires. And the vegetable tires actually came through me from Nicaragua and in Nicaragua from a Nicaraguan farmer, a farming woman, who learned the tire technique from some organization up in the Northeast and started doing it. Really wonderful job. And we were working with the same community and working with her and her husband on vegetables production. And so we took the tires from the northeast of Nicaragua to uh, a center in Nicaragua called Rancho Benizer and then from Rancho Benizer here. So it's kind of like a virus. <laughs> can sort of see how it, it becomes easy to, to make tires really productive is because you're starting from scratch. It's like, is you get to be like God, you get to be creating, you get to do creation. Like soil is something that takes, you know, millennium to produce. Well, you are producing between four and six inches of soils in a matter of an hour or so. So that's, I mean, that's it. You choose what you want to go into your tire. And through experience, you know, every, every soil is different. So this, this, the three parts of soil is going to make a huge difference in what your soil is like. So you need to, as you work with the, the vegetable tile, you learn. You get to try things out, find out whether it works, how well it works, and then do it again. There's another important aspect of the yard gardens in general. Within the context of MPP, which is a farmer's organization, so it's a, it's a movement of farmers. It's a, it has a very strong development aspect, but it also has its main focus, the foundation, is a social change. Chavan Jean-Baptiste, the director of MPP, had a really excellent conference on that at one of the meetings that I had a chance to be at. And he just pointed out that MPP is not the government, and it will never be the government, and it's not supposed to be the government. The point of the farmer movements in Haiti, the peasant movements in Haiti, is for them to change the government and make the government become something that is responsible to the people. And his point was that the development projects that, are, that happen with MPP can't be more important than that social change that needs to happen. And that, that has to, we have to remember that that's the, the point and that the development comes behind that, not in front. And that was really important for me to hear. The whole point of having a good solid yard garden is having a community that's healthy. But a community cannot be healthy by itself if the government is sick. And as the whole point of being part of a farmer's organization, a movement of peasants, is that the peasants are strong enough to make the government something new, to transform it. And in order for them to transform the government, they have to trans be able to transform themselves. And so the yard garden is not an end in itself. It's part of a road. It's part of the pathway. It's making what we want to become visible right now where we are. What Haitians want Haiti to be, having the yard garden be something that they can make that as, an, as a visible experience right now that makes them stronger and more able to move forward uh, in, in creating the new Haiti. So that's the point of the yard gardens here in Haiti. And if, this, if yard gardens go anywhere else, I hope it goes with that idea along with it. Because we have to be clear, here in MPP, within MPP, and with all of the farmer organizations here in Haiti where we're working with yard gardens, the point is not yard gardens in and of themselves. Yard gardens to make the farmers strong so that they make the organization strong, so that they can transform them. <laughs>